Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to episode 12 of Origami 2, where fate brings us together once again. So in this episode, we are hanging out in the little courtyard uh, to start things off here. Not really anything going on here, just felt like standing here. But uh, we're going to kick things off and get right into our next mission. So next thing on the agenda is to take care of a mission called the Akotschi Strategic Information. So I'm assuming we're basically going to be gathering some vital intel on the Akotschi themselves to benefit us and figure out how to take them down. So we're going to be going over to High Castle once again. And the informant has marked the location of the information regarding High Castle's defenses. Get the information for him. So lots of XP, 347. Uh, potentially being able to be found on this one right here. So we've done a couple other ones here. Whales in the night and approaching the enemy. So this is where we went to uh, save Sumire. What's this area? Now we're going back for some more info. All right, here we are. It uh, looks like we've loaded in in the upper section of the mission. Okay, I remember this stable stuff being next to this when we loaded on in. So we got a couple of guys literally right here. We're gonna go ahead and drop down right here. We're gonna pull this guy into the grass because it will make the assassination a little bit more silent. And we'll be able to wipe that boy right there as well. Let's go. Hey, hey. We got one guy down there. There's a second dude a little bit further over there, but he's outside of our current reach. Pop down on this guy's face. Crack. Ooh, there is a fireball boy up there. Keep that in consideration. I can reach him. Let's go. Nice. Off to a good start so far on this one right here. Nice, quick, and clean. Oh, I remember. Okay. I remember some of the incidents that I had on this one. So I can I can now, like, get up to a group and, like, assassinate multiple people all in tandem who are, like, you know, kind of nut-hugging each other, you might say. And I'm all about that. That's sick. Boy. I go up the side of this. I love how bad the peripherals of these enemies are. Dude, I even turned to look that man in his face as I finished him off right there. Okay. I teleported through the air and then I turned to like face him as I came down in front of him. If there was like a super slowed down variant to that, or it was like a face to face of me and that guy, you'd see his life flashing before his eyes as I just come down out of nowhere. Right into his freaking spectrum of his face. I think I'm gonna do a blood smoke right here. Oh, now that dude walks out? Frick. Well, I don't think the blood smoke would have lasted long enough, anywho. Maybe this guy will come to this grass? I don't know. That works. <laughs> yeah, um, a conclusion I came to quite a while ago as well about the um, blood in this game is the blood is an optional thing to have on or off. 
So the fact that the blood doesn't actually affect gameplay in a detection in any way, shape, or form kind of makes sense because it is completely optional to just turn the blood off. Obviously, you wouldn't wanting to be turning the blood off unless you don't want the gore from it and whatnot. Like, I think the blood personally adds more, makes it more badass. But you know, to anybody who it, who it may concern, like shutting that off should not give you an advantage in the gameplay. So it makes a lot of sense that uh, the blood doesn't alert guards in any way, shape, or form. It's just there for purely aesthetic reasons. What the fuck? Dude, those guys just start randomly tossing fireballs when they think they've detected something. I mean, they've definitely detected something, aka the body, but as if they know where you're at, it's kind of silly to me. Like, they just go fucking chucking them, wasting their ammo, bro. Eh, you turn around, silly boy. Oh, he, ch he chucked at himself. Play. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, well, that was ass. Holy! Went straight past my face. That was insane. I got caught in that stupid little roof corner. I didn't realize there was a corner difference in the rooftops I was on. I was scuffed. I was gonna, I was gonna try and crawl across that thing over to him, but that was gonna be way too time consuming. Oh, can he stop chucking? I thought he was noticing me. I was like, uh oh. Later, nerd. You get rid of the eyes in the sky, then the rest of the guys are not as dangerous. Bro, that brief, that brief amount of time while you're invisible is actually sick when you're moving around. Now that I'm actually taking advantage of like going from grass to grass and stuff at the same time, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty god dang useful. Oh god. Whisper this guy. Mm -hmm. Bam! Man, I'm just I'm just kind of killing it on this mission so far, literally and physically. Or wait, literally and metaphorically. That's what I was going for. I almost messed it up as I said that. Uh oh. Oh god. Bro, I have like the worst hiding spot too. <laughs> Unlock. Alright, do I actually have a 1v1 on my hands? Let's do it. Try and get a parry. Alright, well, better go as planned. Ow, I'm sorry. No, I'm so dead. <gasps> Fuck off. Oh. 
Oh, oh my word. Oh my word, so much for that. Fuck this guy though, what the hell is that, man? It didn't give me an opportunity to do like the assassination finisher on him either when he got really low. When I knocked all his stamina off. I guess you do have to have them at low health before you're allowed to do that, but still. Kind of pissed. What kind of roll was that? That was a weak ass roll. I was gonna say, by the way, I think new areas actually opened up here. Uh, but I'm not totally sure about that. Can I climb up this? Oh. Thick. Okay, I need to blood smoke the piss out of this guy. And like 10 more guys after him. So I kind of panicked. I was trying to hit the blood smoke button on a dude earlier and I hit the wrong one. Now what is this? Gather the defensive information from High Castle. So there's three pieces of info that we're gathering from here. Okay. So this area is still uh, grayed off over here or still off limits, which I'm completely fine with. Considering it looks like this area is already getting a little bit extensive, expansive. One reason or another. Alright. But that area up there is now extended. So it is bigger than it was previously. We've unlocked like the upper stage that was not available to us a previous time. Is that a collectible in there? Oh. I think I've gotten everybody through this area so far. Minus up there, obviously, but we'll be going to that here soon. There's another section I still need to go through back this way. I need to stick in the blood smoke as long as I can. Get that health back, baby. Oh yeah. Nice. So if you guys remember, there is a collectible down there that we discovered the first time we came through here. What I am liking about this this time around is there's not those other idiots. The boys who cried wolf, I think there were some of those around. And they decided that they weren't necessary in this variant of the mission. So I'll gladly take that. I will say that also kind of helps keep it fresh because it like mixes up and updates the guard layout. When you come back to a place for another mission, which is nice. Because that building where I remember there being a bunch of dudes last time, I don't even think there's really anything over there either. What the? You can enter right there? That's insane. Alright, yeah, as I said, because. Oh, what? Like, oh, okay. My own worst enemy, bro. God dang it, I just killed myself because that jump was too badass. Too cool for school, bro. Man, really? From half health that killed me? That didn't even seem like that big of a freaking... Oh, whatever. That was scuffed. 
wasn't that big, was it? Step bro. I don't know, man. That felt like something the ninja could definitely survive at the very least. But whatever. Whatever, dude. Lost to gravity, baby. Lost to gravity. We've taken every, everyone out down here. We found the one tidbit of information we need. So now we're going to enter this new compound section. Never experienced yet. Going on up here. We go for a blood smoke just to be safe. We're going to use that as an opportunity to get behind this guy. Up here, you want this guy? Might be risky going all the way for this guy, but I think we can make it. Alright, couple more guys up there. God. There's a lot of guys around here. I'm actually gonna hide this body. I don't think those other bodies are in a like dangerous location, but <gasps> what the f Red dye schematic, yo! Yes! Red of all colors too, perfect. I mean, I know our shit's kind of red by default already and that seems to be a pretty popular theme amongst all the colors thus far, but dude, I'm kind of stoked about that. Let's go. There's some gold right there. Okay, that was weird. Didn't tell if I like actually assassinated that guy or if I like fought him but just wrecked him. I still haven't actually fought one of those fireball dudes face to face. Like, I, they might be glass cannons. Like the fireball might hit you and like hurt really bad. But I don't know if it actually, if they can actually fight back very well, or if I could just like slice them up. Oh, there's some boys who cried wolf. Okay. <laughs> Bro, those guys are like mirror image. I wonder if the mirror image is going to be like, Oh, wait, where'd my reflection go? When he starts walking, never starts walking back, I should say. Yeah, I can confirm these guys are trash. The fuck? Bro, the fact I got that assassination off right there. Oh, I didn't even alert those nerds. That was a. I don't. That was like. That was the cleanest, messy play ever. Like, it was kind of messy, but at the same time. Ended up mostly clean in the end. I don't know. Dude, what have I gotten myself into? Was not expecting there to be this many more guys over here. Jeez. I am a kind of kind of doing well with the flow of combat in this one though. You can't deny.
guy's not even gonna notice. What? That was trash. I was about to ask, where'd the fireball boy go? He's, he's just been around, chilling. All right, we need to, before we go further in that direction, we gotta finish what we started over here. Oh, hello. I went through this whole building, didn't even, not even notice the, uh, that. Didn't even notice the that right there. Let's go. My vibration was like delayed right there. That was weird. And this is the hot spot for gold. Look at that. Right here. Get some more on this desk right here. We got a nice little entire pouch of it right here. Oh. Anything special out here? Doesn't look like it. Just TP between the window. Nothing going on in here. I think we've come full circle here. This is this outside section where we killed all these guys. The only remaining ones inside are the nerds, I believe. Or they're not even inside, but only remaining bugs in this area. Sweet. Ooh, I think I see a collectible up there. Whoa, whoa. It's so bizarre to me how I can't climb that. Oh, there's a skeleton over here? What the f- yeah, well, it's not exactly a collectible, but... So this is a big boy way to get up here. What the? Okay. Sick. The elevation in this area is actually really cool. I like how we've, like, come way up this cliffside. This area is pretty big, actually. I need to be careful here not to die as well. Or you lost my damn life, bro. I played myself. Ah, so we're here at this edge now. Wait. Another building we have yet to go through here. I think it's just like one dude in here. Oh, there's a couple. Now, what is this compared to? Oh, okay. So this is the initial. Okay, all right. So when we came into this new area for the first time, it branched off into two separate buildings. This is the other building we hadn't gone into yet. So once we clear this bit out, then we'll fully be ready to go up that uh, mountainside. <clears throat> Where's this one guard, though? What you doing, buddy? Actually, I had no no idea of how else to get up to this 
level right here. Yeah, it's just like a completely sep sectioned off like second floor. Hey, never mind. It's a staircase. Okay. Oh, I'm an idiot. Eh, whatever. We got it in the end, okay. Now we're officially ready to go this way. Just as long as we've gotten everyone else. And we're at two of threes as well, which means this is probably the final section of this uh, zone up here. Oh, oh, grab that gold, oh, it's a guy up here, let's get him before he can be a dipwad that discovers any bodies. There's kind of a lot going on here. A lot more than I was expecting. I need my boy right there to turn around. Thank you. There we go. Honestly, it's kind of nice knowing these hat guys don't move. Gives me a sense of comfort in some situations. Huh. Yeah, before I scuffed that up slightly right there, I was gonna say it gives me a sense of comfort comfort in some situations, knowing they're not gonna randomly turn around and discover me. Once again, man, this area is just dong schlonger. By that I mean pretty huge. The fact that they're not only taking you to certain limited sectioned off spots of maps, they're including prior sections of that map as well as opening up other areas. So it's really just expanding these to be big boys. Get a couple of those nub scrubs. Also a staircase going up that way. Thank God this grass was here. I didn't realize this guy would walk around right here. Hey, bro. <laughs> Don't turn around. You're going to get it, boy. I told you not to turn around. Say if I was feeling really brave, I could have gone for a blood smoke. Okay, that was dope. The fact I was still in viz during that roll. It's clean. Clean indeed, baby. See the other thing that annoys me that I died from like Taking that fall damage from that one height was also the fact that in all these situations you can be like as high as you want and as long as you assassinate somebody that nullifies your fall damage. I think it's kind of sick. <gasps> Bro! That's so dope. Being able to see the schematic like that. Essence rune, silence. Ooh. So that's gonna boost stealth even more, I would assume, right? Or maybe a 
I think there's a difference between stealth and uh, not making any noise in this game, if I'm not mistaken. So maybe it has something to do with that, like muffling uh, movement. That'll be a fourth, uh, fourth rune though. We'll actually be able to have a full set of runes on our gear. Does this go anywhere special? Not by the looks of it. All right. I think we've slayed out everyone so far. There's still more guys up here. Plus our main objective's still up there. I think we got all the guys in this forested area though and everywhere prior. So for this, looks like we can go up here to get inside. Thank God. I'm gonna say, if that dude on the stairs keeps walking further over here, I might have got myself in a sticky. I don't recall this fireball guy always being at the top of those steps right there, so I thought he was gonna move at some point, but I stand corrected. Please stay close enough. There we go. Got a nice zoom in on that cock as I yoinked him. <laughs> Alright, baby. What the? Oh my god! Okay. Well, that answers my question about how much damage the fireball does. Painful. I did not realize that was such a dangerous position right there. I definitely would have, like, blood smoked if I had realized it was gonna be going down like that. Owie. Dude's already oblivious enough to have turned his back. Yeah, just toss him at your boy. Really need him to turn around now. Come on. I know you guys saw something and then it disappeared, but you're really going to be suspicious 10 seconds later still? E video game AI and just forget. Yeah, good boy. fuck was that? Dude's pathing right there is a little bit weird. Last man standing. Alright. I think we found literally everything there is to find in this whole mission. Focus. We've got all of our objectives. We found two schematics. We found a rune. We found some dye. Uh, I think everybody has died. It needs to die. And beyond that, uh, it was a flawless mission. Minus my one fault in AMSing, but we don't talk about that. That never happened. I'm just going to take that out of the video. And in any moment I've talked about it, I'm just going to uh, mute myself for those two. Yeah, for sure. Turtle, you're not going to leave those in for comedic effect or anything. But I think, as I said, there's some gold here. That is not as I said, but that as is as I discovered. I think we're done here. I think we can skedaddle on out of this mission now. We've slain everyone. And we can uh, call this one a success. This is a pretty long mission, actually. It didn't feel as long as some of the other long ones we did. It's because the whole area felt fresh going up here, and it was pretty cool, but... Not too bad. Bro, 62 hostiles. New record for how many enemies there were. Zero alive, zero unconscious. Thank you.
five bodies discovered five players discovered and a player respawn and i still got a rank b in that one on top of that we found all the collectibles and i got 500 gold we maximized our gold out of there uh, as far as rewards go, we got the Oni Blade, we found that red die, and then we found that Silence Rune. So I am stoked. What a, like, what a beneficial mission to us. Talk to the Cronist. Ah, Katashi. I have a message from Lira Katashi. Give me all the information you have. I'll take it to our ally. He has also asked for you to go meet him. Hmm. He seemed upset. All right, so we got to converse with our leader Katashi, but it sounds like we might be going to meet up with this new contact. He's got uh, some insider information, so that is pretty sick. But the blacksmith and the die person should be popping off for us. Oh, they have exclamation points. I heard what you have done. That's not what I asked for. Tell me, is violence the only path? I, I suppose a warrior does not question his orders. So that man, Danjuro, is not my daughter's captor? Phew, that's relief. Yeah, they are probably like, bro, why are you going to bring the person who cap captured me and kidnapped me back to the thing so it could happen over again? I won't have to kill him. Damn, she's kind of savage. Also, so like, her mother's just like a bigger version of her. It kind of makes uh, Sumire kind of look dwarf. Like a dwarf a little bit, just because she's so much shorter than everyone else. <laughs> kind of funny. Because like, not only is she shorter, but like her entire body is just smaller. She's got like a smaller head and just smaller legs and everything to match that. I mean, I guess that's literally what a child is compared to an adult, but... I don't know, it just it just looks kind of silly. Something new to forge? Yes, yes there is. So we found... Um, up here, so we got the Kitsune attire. We still don't have any new masks. Uh, but we got the Oni chest piece a while back. We got the Oni greaves, and now we got an Oni blade. So we got the ancient blade. Which, uh, I think we discovered a couple episodes ago. Now we have the Oni Blade. Ooh, it's pretty nice. But mainly, I think it's just the, uh... I think it's the engraving on the hilt. Or, not the hilt, but the, uh, the, the cover for the sword. I forget what that thing's called. Somebody please enlighten me. But that thing, I think, is what's looking coolest on there. And then this one, just it's dope. The sheath. The sword sheath. I think that's what the term I'm looking for. Ah, so yes. Silence gives more stealth, but trade-off is armor. Oh. So I can I can get even more stealth now. So let's see, we got the armor back, but we lost stealth for that. But now we can boost our stealth in trade-off for armor. Oh, right, right, right. So the only, the only benefit I have right now is stamina regen at the cost of attack. But now I'm going to have stealth boost at the cost of my armor. Uh, fuck it. Just craft it. Like I said, I want to have literally everything. Wait. Oh, I think uh, I think I accidentally put that one on something else. Okay, so we have silence on there. We have that on there. We have that on there. Yeah, so we have four things now. I wish I could see my stats overall somehow. That'd be nice. We make an amazing team, warrior. So how's the red die looking? It's said to be forged using the heat from a volcano. Oh, it's talking about my... Six hundred fifty for the red. Of course, it's that expensive, but it's so dope. How's it looking on the other stuff? Oh, dude, in the black. Oh my word. I might have to. We might actually have to invest in this. 
We're up to 17 hundo gold though. We've been doing so well, like actually earning gold. How's it look on the blade? Ooh. Okay. I want a new blade actually. Which why we've been saving up for the Arachi sword. Like the fact that we found such a sick looking rare item so early on, I wanna be able I wanna use it sooner than later, you know? So that I can actually experience it. Rather than just get it once I'm done playing the game. Oh, I want it. I want to get that, and then we'll probably do that with the Oni gear set, and maybe do red red dye theme with it eventually. I think will be our our end set. But I still want to see an Oni mask or something. We still don't have an Oni mask. Wait, where the fuck is Katashi? Wait, he's back in this. Uh, yo, he's actually back here in this area. I never thought they would actually use this area for the game. That's sick. Oh, this is cool. Maybe maybe they'll uh, explain more about this area to us. Uncertainty about the future is a bitter feeling. You wake up one day to see your land destroyed by an unknown enemy. The dreams you had your whole life suddenly shatter and are forever gone. I don't know who's interred here, but whether they had the life they wanted or not, they knew when it was over, they would sleep forever. It must be comforting know it, to know how you'll end. I wish we also knew. Uh, I don't know. That would be... I think I'd be uncomfortable knowing how I was going to die because I think you could foreshadow um, based on knowing how you would die, like when you're going to be in that situation. Like, let's say you, you drown. You know, maybe maybe in a couple of weeks you have a plan to, like, go on a vacation to the beach or go on a boat or something. Like, maybe something bad's going to happen then. So it, like, puts dread in, like, you know, inside of you to know that that might be heading to your death. I come here whenever I need to think. Everyone is dead silent. I thought you were used to my jokes now. <laughs> he said dead silent? Oh my god, what a freaking silly boy, I just realized. I guess they are fewer every day. I used to joke a lot in my previous life. I think. I barely remember it. I want to tell you something. He actually remembers his past life though, interesting. We received a request from Akachi, asked by the Emperor Akai himself. Oh! Never mind. The past life because like we are, ne we are undying, we always come back type of deal. I forgot. Chronicler has done a great job as a liaison. It's a rescue mission, but we will not deliver the target. For whatever reason, Akai is hiding this from his people. The target might have important intel for our cause. Whichever the consequences, it would be better than our future if we don't kick out Akachi. Kurotsuba. Go on this rescue for the Kurutsuba clan. All right. Well, damn. Hitachi had a whole entire spiel of things to say to us, but uh, he's gotten the information across and he's gotten us the info for our next mission. But uh, we're, we will be tackling that one in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, this has been a pretty long running, long standing episode here. It was a big mission again today. 62 hostiles, new record. For how many we've uh, killed in one mission. But uh, that's going to be a wrap for now guys. So I hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you did be sure to leave a like and comment down below. What you enjoyed about the episode. And if you guys are enjoying the content as a whole on the channel. Make sure you guys are subscribed and turn on notifications. To receive live updates for brand new videos. But uh, once again. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah. Until next time. Have a wonderful rest of your day and your night. Wherever you guys may be. Stay gaming, stay absolutely mad, all of you lads and lasses, and I will catch you guys in the next video.